What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of This vs. That. Today we are going to do a st studio tour. Um, not really. Um, just my minimum studio setup. Um, the gears I use, my lighting. Um, I, I try to do very minimal setup. Um, portability is key for me. So today I will show you what I have, my setup. Roll the intro. All right. Now, as new YouTube starters, you guys know that quality is very important. The audio, which is the sound, has to be clear, crisp, um, less echo, and the footage itself has to be sharp, less less noise. So lighting plays a major part of that to help reduce the noise. And okay, let me show you my uh, setup. Very small, very minimal, um, and it's very portable. First, I will show you my audio gear. Hi right, guys, this is the Zoom One H1 Zoom external mic. Uh, see here. Okay, it's on right now. I'm recording. And then I have my small ring light right here, which is a small ring light for uh, smartphones. It uh, actually is a clip on. See, it, it clips on to your smartphone here. Let me show you. So get my smartphone out, uh, the iPhone 10. Here we go. So what it actually does is just clips on like that, and then it enhances the uh, the uh, light, the lighting for your picture and also for your selfie. Um, what I did was I got a tripod right here. So I got a small tripod, and then I did a little stand there, screw on a couple of uh, nuts, and then voila, made myself a small portable ring light. Um, the best thing about this ring light is it's a rechargeable battery right here, and then has three different setting modes. That's uh, the first setting is low, then medium, you see the intensity, and then high. Um, I, I found I find that the uh, that the, uh, the lowest setting, which is the, uh, the the low intensity, is is perfect for, for me. My situation right now. Uh, next is my A fifty one hundred right here. Um, this camera is great. It's about five hundred bucks. Um, 24 megapixel camera, 60 frames per second at 1080p. Uh, you could use the touch touch screen to focus, um, but that's it. You you cannot focus on. No, you cannot use the touch screen for uh, for the menu. Um, this camera is great. Um, very. If you're on a budget and if you're starting off, I seriously recommend this camera, the A5100 Sony. Uh, the lens is interchangeable, which means that you can buy a, a different lens and and swap it out. Um, great for low light. Um, the kit lens is about uh, I think it's 16 to 50 millimeter. All right, so there you have it, guys. Um, audio is the uh, Zoom H1. Lighting is just a cheap. Um, smartphone ring light 
And my primary camera is the Sony A5100. And my secondary camera is, which I'm filming on right now, is the Sony RX100 Mark V. Um, this camera is great, small, very small footprint. Um, let me see, okay, so, so this camera is really small. Uh, the Sony A50, excuse me, the Sony RX100 Mark V, very small, compact. Um, the aperture is 1.8, the lowest. So which, which is really great for low light recording. Um, it does 4K and it goes up to 24 frames per second with 4K. It does uh, slow motion at, I think the highest is 960 frames per second, but the, the resolution really degrades. Um, I, I find out that uh, 240 is really good enough to capture that buttery smooth slow motion. Um, yeah. The only draw drawback with these two cameras is Sony uh, A5100 and the RX100 right here is there's no mic mic port, so I supplement that with the Zoom H1. Alright, guys, so that's my minimum setup. I will put everything in the uh, in the description. Um, also, where to, where to get the small ring ring light? It's pretty cheap. It's about uh, twelve nine ninety nine. Um, it's rechargeable. Three settings. Um, I only charge it once, and I've been using it for a whole month now. Um, I will also link the Sony A fifty one hundred and the RX one hundred Mark five, and also the Zoom H one. Alright, guys, that's all I have so far. I'll see you next time.